Hi guys, very good morning one and all. Uh, today I'm going to teach you something about electrolytes and non-electrolytes. Have you guys have any idea about what is electrolytes and non-electrolytes? You're basically from chemistry background. Yeah, but, but I didn't know that, that word in English. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Devina? Mm -hmm. Not too sure. Uh, like dissolving a salt in water? Yeah, oh. yeah. You're pretty much close. Right. Oh. right. So, let's, I'm going to take two examples. Sodium chloride, you know, this is nothing but table salt, and the other one is sucrose, which is table sugar. It is a consumer product which we use in a day to day life. So, if you see the physical appearance of these two uh, substances, you find sodium chloride and sucrose, they are one and the same. They are white, crystalline, solid, they are very fine grind particles. And the only different arises when you taste it. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel like it is salty, it is salty and it is going to taste you. So, I'm going to demonstrate an experiment uh, which you can do at your home. It's nothing but Take a beaker of water so you have pure water inside the beaker right pure water inside the beaker and uh, it is nothing but a bulb mm -hmm. and wires are passed dipped into the beaker and you connect it to the plug. So, what would you observe? Will the light glows? Go on. I'll turn on. Will it turn on? Yeah. Surprisingly, oh, no, 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 no. it is no not. Light. No. It is not. It's it's not going to glow. Yeah. We will see the reason in next few minutes. So, I did. Another beaker of water, but this time I add a few water along with sucrose, which is a normal sugar which we use daily. Right? So the same setup, no difference between these two diagrams except you had sh uh, sugar into this beaker. So as I told you, I am very poor at drawing. So this is nothing but filament and this is a bulb. Hope it looks like a bulb, mm -hmm. at least for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what do you think about now? Will it glow or not? No, no. no. Yeah, I think this one should glow. Should glow. Right. I don't think so. OK. <laughs> Surprisingly, this doesn't glow at all. <laughs> right. We'll see the answer. Right, the final one, the other beaker contains same solution except it has got, instead of sucrose, it has got sodium chloride into it. Which is literally I add salt to a water solution. So NaCl plus water, right? And the setup is literally same. Right. And uh, this is to the plug. Now, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Now it glows. Now it glows. Right. So, what is the basic difference? Direct. So, sodium chloride sucrose differs in electrical conductivity. 
Do you know anything about electrical conductivity? Hopefully you should have studied in your high school. <laughs> Right, brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. So electricity is nothing but flow of electron. Flow of electron when it uh, generates electricity. Right. So how electrons are generated? We are not going to talk about that. So what causes sodium chloride and water solution to glow the bulb? Because sodium chloride solution, when you when you dissolve sodium chloride into water. It is going to dissociate into Na plus and Cl minus ion. When it dissolves in water, you get Na plus and Cl minus ion. Sodium chloride is made up of electrically charged particle. So this is called as Na plus ion, which is nothing but cation. Positively charged particles are called as cation, and negatively charged particles are called as anion. Right, so what happens when it dissolves, you have a, this container full of plus and minus ions. So this plus and minus ions are nothing but ions. Ions are nothing but, it can be an atom or a group of atom that possess an electrical charge or the charge may be either way. It can be a positive charge or a negative charge. So here in case Na plus is a positive and Cl minus is a negative ion. Right, so what happens in, in the first case, pure water doesn't dissociate at all. It remains as H2O, pure water, I mean. So it doesn't dissociate, so you don't get charged ions. If you have charged ions, it would have crossed through the filament and bulbs, I mean, uh, to the wire and bulbs would have glowed but it hasn't. In the second case, sucrose is a covalent molecule. So it also doesn't produce any current carrying particles. Current carrying particles, I mean ions. Whereas the third case, sodium chloride produces cation and anion. Because of this ion, close but Right, any questions? Okay, thank you very much for <laughs> listening. <laughs>